Hi guys, I'm Kathleen and we're here in Gurgaon at North India's first natural horsemanship course to learn about horses and how to communicate and bond with them. So let's get started. Hi. Charlotte, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Libby. Yeah. You can come and approach her from the shoulder. Okay. Always better to approach her from there. And then you can see, come, come. You can see she's looking at you. Yeah. Okay. So what are we doing today? So today we're going to learn how to think like a horse and how to use our bodies like a horse in the way that they're able to communicate with us and to bond. Let's go into the round pen and let's start working. Yeah. I'll introduce you to Manjeev, my husband. Hi. Hey Kathleen, how are you? Okay. Nice to meet you. Manjeev will show you how to communicate like a horse. Let's go and do some exercises with her. What we're going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate the exercise which is join up. It is a trademark from California and Monty Roberts, a world trainer. What we do here is we set a horse on a liberty and look for the gestures to yeah. establish a trust building. This is the part which is the balance line of the horse. Yeah. When you have to drive a horse, you stay behind, behind. behind in a 45 degree because if you go straight behind, you'll be in a kick zone. So we go in this angle behind. Okay. So if we stay on 45 degree behind the balance line, the horse moves. Mm. The moment we need to turn the horse, step in front of the balance line, mm. that creates a stop, slow or turning away. Mm. So that's why using animal psychology, if you're training the horse, it's much better because you train only once in the lifetime. Okay. But if you use a whip or a correction mm. things, which create a pain, yeah. you have to train every time because the horse yeah. is not learning. So I'm going to release her. What I'm going to do is, and eyes on eyes, because eyes on eyes is like predatorial thing. So where am I staying is, it's 45 mm -hmm. degree behind the line. Okay. So I'm driving her. Okay. But whenever I need her to turn, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to step in front of the balance line, mm -hmm. and that creates a stop. If I and go then, continue approach her side, oh, and then she's she moves gonna to turn the other away. side. She's trying to in come inside, but we are not asking her yet. Okay. You can see this like circle this side, is smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air is locked, head is lower, there's yeah. another one, the fourth one is licking and chewing, movement of the lips. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I'm going to ask her to come, mm. which we call a movement of join up, mm. it's giving her all my passive shoulder. Okay. At the moment I'm all active all the time, yeah. so asking her to move. When I'm going to ask her, I'm going to be passive. Okay. So no movement of my hand, no mm. movement of my coils. Yeah. Eyes, I'm going to drop it on the ground mm. and be in a 45 degree, but my shoulder would be passive. Okay. You'll see. I'm asking, 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 in. I'm going to drop it down and move away. So now there's nothing hanging out of my body. Everything is closed. Okay. Before my coils are there, my hands are there. And that's the first thing when you use a horse psychology to train them mm. is a body language. But you can work with any horse. Mm. And you don't need to create any pain or whip. Yeah. It will take a little time, mm. but that's the time you're never going to take it again. You don't have to do anything else apart from that. Yeah. 